Well, hey everybody, I hope you're doing awesome today. And I'm so excited that you've jumped into a message-based group. So if it is your first time and you're a little nervous or you're not really sure what to expect, I hope that you will just relax, jump into the conversation, and just see what God might want to do in your life in these relationships in the next few weeks. If you're returning to a message-based group, again, welcome back. You know from experience that you will get the very best out of the next 10 weeks by listening to the message each week and coming prepared to discuss and learn from each other. For the next 10 weeks, we're going to journey through the book of Acts, which tells the history of the capital C church. What did God really have in mind when he formed this thing called church? What was he hoping it would accomplish or become? What are some of the foundational things we can learn that were present from the very beginning? How does Christ's church fit in to all of this? And of extreme importance, how do you and I play a part in it? Real quickly, the book of Acts was written by a doctor named Luke. And if you're familiar at all with the Bible, you might recognize his name. He's one of the four people to write about the life of Jesus. Okay, we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The book of Acts is a continuation of his first writing, and it kind of functions like a two-volume set. Right? Volume one is all about the life of Jesus, his teachings, who he was, what he did, and it goes right up to the point of his crucifixion and includes conversations with the disciples after his resurrection. Acts is going to pick up right there, and I believe may actually be the same conversation you read at the end of a few of those Gospels, especially Matthew 28, where Jesus is giving final instructions to those followers. It's a commissioning of sorts for what he has for them to do as he's about ready to leave earth, ascend back to God the Father. And the book of Acts records the events and stories and history of what happened from that point on. It's a record of how the church began and became what we're calling an unstoppable movement that continues to this very day. So here's kind of a summary statement of the church that I think you should become very familiar with. And I built the very first week entirely around it, and it functions as a pretty good guide for everything that happens throughout the book of Acts. Here it is. The unstoppable church is a movement protected by God, built around a mission, powered by the Holy Spirit, and advanced by witnesses of a living Jesus. Now, I've thought about it a lot. I've played with the wording. I've wondered if I might be adding too much or maybe missing something. But I do think that's a great summary of how the church remains unstoppable. And it's probably even a good idea if you were to memorize that that the unstoppable church is a movement protected by God, built around a mission, powered by the Holy Spirit, and advanced by witnesses of a living Jesus. You know, Christ's church began in 2007 as an official presence in Camden County, right? A specific gathering of people, and it has a relatively short history. But Christ Church is really just a continuation of the church that began 2,000 years ago in the book of Acts. See, the church was never about a building. It was never about a meeting. It was never about a program or even a name. The church has always been a movement of people on a mission to advance the message of a living Jesus. And the part that you and I play is connected to that very first and lasting mission. And we're going to read it in chapter 1 and verse 8, that we are to be witnesses of the living Jesus. And what do witnesses do? Oh, they simply talk about what they've seen and what they've heard and what they've experienced. And that's how the primary mission and method for the church continues to advance. See, as a follower of Jesus, that's your mission. As a church in 2023, that's our mission. And that mission will carry on until the day that Jesus returns, and God guarantees that it will not fail. See, that's the amazing thing that we are a part of, okay? The unstoppable church, 
That is a movement protected by God, built around a mission, powered by the Holy Spirit, and advanced by witnesses of a living Jesus.